Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. First, I want to talk about Sia One. Sia One's live was intercepted but uh, what i want to talk about is the comments which are coming from the praise singers on my page i uh i follow sia one because i follow his political contributions i don't follow sia one for his religious whatever he does i don't i am not a follower of his religious beliefs but i am a follower of sia one on his political a political intake or whatever he talks about i follow sia one and uh, sia one campaigned for upnd government and i just want to say that praise singers are calling sia one a foreigner you are calling him all kinds of names but i want to remind you about praise singer sia one campaigned for upnd we saw chief mukuni he flew to nigeria to meet sia one when UPND won the election. So we know that CIA1 and UPND, they worked together to take PF out of power. So it is not fair that UPND, by praise singer, you can start calling CIA1 names when you know very well that CIA1 campaigned for HH. CIA1 himself said he managed HH's page in campaign. Mamona. So those are the facts you cannot use people and dump people that is a mistake mistake number one using people and dumping people is a big mistake because when you use people and dump people they feel hurt and they'll come after you and i would also like to say here that uh, you know the reason this is my opinion I think the reason that Sia One has come is because Chirufia Tayali is compromised. Sia One said he will come into politics in 2025. But after Sia One has looked and seen what is happening, Tayali has been compromised. So I think whoever paid Tayali to turn against the people made a mistake. Because the, I, this is my opinion. The reason why Sia One is back because he has seen that there is no one talking for Zambians. Tayali was a public lawyer. Now he has joined with a government that is oppressing Zambians. And every well meaning Zambian, like Sia One, Sia One is not a Zambian, but he has family in Zambia. Sia One is not a Zambian, but he has a family in Zambia. And the Zambians, we love foreigners. Zambian, we love foreigners. Our whole economy is controlled by foreigners. So it is hypocrisy for you, a praise singer, to be saying Sia One is not a Zambian. Everyone who does business in Zambia, including politics, Savannah Tony Blair. Tony Blair is not a Zambian. He's there. You know? All these people, African Americans, the colonial masters, all the friends of HH, they are not Zambians. The ones that he is entertaining. Why don't you say they are not Zambian? But it's because Sia One is standing with the people, you are condemning him. That is a pity. It is a pity for you to condemn Sia One and say he's not Zambian. When this government entertain foreigners, they are entertaining other foreigners, but because Sia One is standing with the poor, he is a problem. You call him names. So I am here to call you out, a praise singer. It is a pity. Right now, we saw the president was entertaining Neo, the American, uh, whatever, musical celebrity. He was with the president. And for me, it's a shame and a pity, really, because the president never celebrate, never 
never entertains our local celebrities. You know, there are so many young people there who have achieved things in a, in a arts or inter, in a, in entertainment. They have not been entertained by the president. So again, we see here where we see the president loves to entertain foreigners. Like what is Neo really? What is the benefit of the president meeting with Neo? Hmm? Because Beyonce is a global icon. When they say Beyonce, Alisa, Kuzambia, even the economy will change. Because all, people from all over Africa will probably fl fly to Zambia to watch a Beyonce concert. But who is Neo for him to be brushing shoulders with the president? Mule lumba, mule lumba. Hey, the president is with Neo. See, a one who's talking for poor Zambians is now become a foreigner and an enemy of you by UPND. And it is a shame. I want to tell by UPND, this habit of using people and dumping people, you use people like a tissue paper to borrow see a one's word. Mule bomfi, I want to watch mass tissue paper ma wachita dump. This is the reason why you're going to be a one term. You are going to be a one-term government because you are a government of using people and dumping people. Yes. So moving to the next topic. The next topic I want to talk about is the plane. Now this plane, there was a celebration last two weeks ago. New Dawn has bought a plane. And this plane, it had even the initials of the president. And uh, fast forward to yesterday, that plane refused to take off because of a technical glitch now when i i saw that plane i went to research now apparently this same plane 737 has got a software malfunction as we know if you go and google go on my page this plane 737 has had two crashes and killed over 300 people now this is the same plane which the new dawn government has acquired to its fleet and the fact is this plane wasn't even bought it is leased when you list something it means that uh, you sign an agreement to use that property for a certain period of time at a fee so that plane is probably leased maybe for three years two years usually leases they can be ranged from one year to five years you can list something so I don't know what the terms of the agreement is, but that plane, the Boeing 737, was not even bought. It is leased. It's for hire. It is long-term hire, which they call leasing. Now that plane, if you can investigate, you research about that plane. That plane had a software a malfunction which caused the two other planes to crash now these people the new don the you were celebrating when you don't need putting pictures of indeke aqua ecl which the you the pf government bought you were comparing a plane which you 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 know which a pf bought and the plane which the new don bought you were all celebrating my praise singers hey, hey, Look at Indeke Yashre E C L. Look at Indeke Yashre H H. Now me, I'm here to condemn you. We must support the fiabu puba. Eh? Now, mumu na ili Indeke muare supporta. It's a Boeing three seven three seven. That that plane in most of these airline companies, but Richana with it draw tai popuka because of that software problem. Now, when I posted this on my page, a lot of our praise singer were like, oh, this is a 737 Maxi. Uh, the one which crashed was a 737 Max. And the one which Zambia has leased, leased, mark my word, they leased. The 737-800 is leased from Ethiopian Airlines. They are saying in Dekenash Pusana, you know. The fact is the plane is a 737. We don't know how that 737 became a Dash 800. 
but the main name in the Kadian is 737. Now, my question is, this plane failed to take off. Passengers were in the plane for three hours while they tried to fix the glitch. Mwamona, I'm a passenger. very mundeke. The plane failed to take off. Two things I want to say here. That this new dude, new dawn government must stop being cheap. They must stop being cheap. I'm sure they leased that plane from Ethiopian Airlines because they gave them a cheap deal. And why they gave them a cheap deal is because that 737 plane, yeah, the Kwatama problems. Some airlines have even stopped flying that plane. But you don't know why my uncle 737 Muzambia and some of the smart mouth praise singers were saying, ah, where Bali Lungishama problems, it is just a software glitch which has been fixed. Yes, the software glitch which killed over 300 people. And if it was fixed, why did it fail to take off? And uh, my last comment on this plane is like, thank God that plane did not take off. That is my last comment. Because if that plane took off, Inoshtanga Tulelanda Fimbi, that plane could have crashed. We just thank God that that plane did not take off. That's all I can say. But if you are in this whole nightmare of this new dawn government, you are the worst. What can I say? In this whole nightmare of the new dawn government, the worst ingredient is Imeba praise singer because when you should condemn them, you always find an excuse. To excuse whatever problem or whatever issue New Dawn has uh, has uh, has blundered, but praise singer, you are there to cheer them on and celebrate and find some excuse to give them a, a, a pat on their back. There is very one stupid comment which I have to say. Somebody said on that on my post about the plane. One very stupid comment. One praise singer said, even babies die at birth. Like, honestly, are you normal? We are talking about a plane. You know, they say accidents are caused. But this plane is a problem plane. 737, in problems na software, you know? Praise singer, kuisa njewa tiye, it is okay because even babies die and at birth. And you know, I answered him. I answered that praise singer. I said, you were praise singer. This is a machine. Human makes, human beings make machines. But God gives life. If a baby dies at, de at birth, ni lesa. We have no control on the birth and the death of someone. But you have a control about a plane. The mechanical or whatever software issues of a plane, you have control. That's why you must make sure before you invest in a plane, that plane is actually a plane which is not going to compromise the, the safety of passengers and everybody. Why can this new dawn government... Either stop exporting millimil or take the money they have received as advance payment from Congo to sell the millimil at 50 kwacha. Why can they do it? You are still exporting millimil. That's why you wungana budula. The minister was there. I showed a video in my last video where the minister was saying. All the countries around us, our neighbors, want us to sell mini meal to them. So there is a high demand. So Mulesh Tishobunga, face Mulesh Shama neighbors, because of the demand, 
the law of supply and demand because the demand is high and because you have opened the market that's why the demand is high eh ama neighbors vaishi vashana tizambia na ikwato bunga kwa kushitisha eh mulomo wine o tulela ndoyo eh you have not made sure ba pf ba lishile ama million surplus ama taba ba lishile imo mwa mula ama taba ya shile ba pf mwa sampuisha mwa isula na ama borders open market Without making sure that you have enough to feed your own people. But Minister Valeranda, the demand is high. The demand is high. Why? But Honorable JJ Banda, the other day, he was saying, Kupeta uke. Babantu wale ipika mama angu. Kulari ya mama angu. Where is disaster management unit? Batu wali la bantu wa mataba. Kushangombo kudia kwa liwe nsalamu. I played another video. People are starving in Shangombo. Bale li efima wild fruits. I have no time here for people to insult me. If you are here to insult me, I will just ban you. Ban you from my page. Block you and ban you. Zambia is a democracy. Praise singers, you have to understand that in a democracy, people have got divergent views. How long, how long, but praise singer, people think differently. Mwefa atuka la andesha niwa praising. Paku chumuntu ngambo kulanda what is not go, what, the wrong things your government is doing. Mwayambe nsele, you start disrespecting people. I will block and ban you. You come here with an open mind to hear what I come to say and make a respectful comment. If you disrespect me, I am just going to block and ban you. I'm not here to be insulted by anyone. Te ino mwana owe. I am not your child for you to be insulting me. I am not your property. Okay? Let's get, let's get that right. Let's get that right. Zambia is a democracy and UPND will not make it, uh, Zambia into a dictatorship. Yes. And what UPND must realize that those 2.8 million people who voted, some of them were PF. They were tired of PF. That's why by Shire Nombaba voted about UPND. Because UPND lied that they were going to change things. Kashi wale kumbo ba PF yefe wale chita. So, talking pawunga. I was saying that, uh, you know, Uvunga watch the promise fifty kwacha. But no mbaburi kuri to over three hundred. And then it was ZNS. The original story was ZNS Uvunga Baka Lash Chapari one fifty. Mwamona. So what is the price the shop right is going to sell? So the government came and said shop right has been appointed to sell. Millimew at a fixed price. Kashinga ni 285. Correct me if I'm wrong. ZNS has decided to contract ShopRite to be selling Ubunga. Now me, I have a problem with the shop for with this decision to make ShopRite as the outlet for ZNS. I have a problem with that. And this is why I have a problem. One, ShopRite is a foreign company. ShopRite is a foreign company. Two, ShopRite is not in every town in Zambia. These are the two main reasons why I, I am not happy about appointing ShopRite as the outlet for, ZN, for ZNS uh, a millimew because one shop right is a foreign company two shop right is not is not in every town in zambia now what does this mean 
appointing ShopRite, a foreign company, to be the outlet for our Mealy Meal means that whatever profit that will come, because we know that Ubunga was a dense parish, ni 150. So, Idea Pamun, Wabare Panga, Niva Nani, Niva ShopRite, Mamona. Again, here we go again. Here we go again. They are externalizing the money. This is controlling the money and externalizing the wealth of Zambia out of the country by appointing ShopRite as an outlet for ZNS. Mule Lumba Pray Singer, you don't know that, but listen them peer. They are externalizing our wealth through ShopRite. ShopRite is a foreign business. Whatever they sell, it goes to South Africa. So correct me if I'm wrong. ZNS is selling Ubunga at 150 to ShopRite. So here Pamulu Yonse, it is a Kuriba ShopRite. And I have a problem with that. Like why does our pro our government always favor foreigners? Why can they identify different shops throughout the country, locally owned Zambian shops, and make those businesses outlets for ZNS Millimi? Why? Why always they say they have they have to be a foreigner to take our money out of the country? Muleli la chitakulimpia muzambia. That's why chitakulimpia muzambia. Because every business is strategically appointed to foreigners by this government. Mwema pray singer mule lumba. Use logic. Mwema pray singer. Use logic and use your patriotism. To say if we we give business to to shop right as the outlet for ZNS Millimu. Whatever is on top of that 150 is going to South Africa. We already don't have money in circulation. It means the number in Zambia number shala ba we si impia number shala pwa se shala pwa mu circulation. Cause ibala send them South Africans through your milli meal, and milli meal is a staple of food. So every Zambian akulali akulash to bungam shop right, and the whatever ya pamulu yon say will go to South Africa. That is why I have a problem with that. And I'm asking the government to revisit this and give the make a point outlets throughout Zambia, locally owned, Zambian owned businesses to partner with ZNS and be outlets. Now, even if they have said ShopRite will be the outlet, ShopRite is like in Iruapula, there is only one ShopRite. In the Northwestern, there is only one shop, right? So how are the people of Ruapula going to manage? Bosa wakala ni ino kuya kuma kuma nani? Kuma shop, right? Kuya mkushita? This is where we say this government again is a government which does not care about the poor people. It cares about people who already have money. For example, somebody in Mansa will not have a problem, but the person in Mansa, in Sanfia, Kawambwa, how are they going to go to travel to shop right Mkushito Wunga? People in Zambezi, Mwinilunga, Kabompo, Kasempe, Kasempa, Bakenda Shan, Yukuya Shito Wunga, Mungsowezi. There is one shop right there. Hmm? So what, what solution have you done? This solution is only for people in certain areas. Even in Osaka, there are a lot of shop rights in Osaka. But, uh, you know, there are far-fetched areas. Like in Kanyama, Mandevu. Where do they have shop rights there? How are people going to obtain the cheap minimum from shop right? I think this is not a good solution and it was not properly thought through because whichever way you are slicing it, it is not helping the poor Zambians. Yes. And I think this government must have, must have their head on it before they make a decision. Let them think how their decision is going to affect the poorest person. You know, they should not make decisions haphazardly without really analyzing, looking at the implications of their decisions. It's like, it's crazy, guys. It's crazy. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. 
all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondu i love you peace i gotta go